Our hearts are full after three full weeks of thank you chain. Goodness, you've been following this along with us. So many stories and acts of gratitude to share have come forward as part of this little campaign, this game, if you will. As we mentioned in our last update, if you're tracking, Phyllis Bester is a diehard BYU football fan. She's been at every home game, rain or shine, for the past 50 years. And get this, she knows every player's height, weight, and even their hometown. Well, Phyllis decided to express gratitude to the team and specifically to head coach Kalani Sitake. We stopped by Coach Sitake's office to get his thoughts on gratitude and give him a chance to continue our chain. Take a look. Gratitude is everything for me. You know, I think I've said it many times before that, uh, that I'm the product of other people's hard work and sacrifice and so I'm here because of them, you know, my family and friends and mentors and people that I've had in my life. And so they, they've built me to who I am now and I'm thankful for all their hard work and their sacrifice and making me who I am. Our players and our team, we get really emotional when, it's, when we talk about our fans because that's a lot of these players and a lot of these young men, when they cho chose to come to BYU, that was one of the reasons because of the, the passion in the fans and the fan base that's everywhere, you know, and as we go and play, regardless, I mean, this has been a, a rough year for us, but um, to have 10,000 people show up in the UNLV game and we're on the road, it was uh, impressive and motiv motivating. We're going to write our gratitude card to the uh, BYU football fans and specifically hand it off to the, the rock section and let them uh, go from there. But just want to tell our fans and, and uh, everyone involved in BYU how thankful we are uh, that they're there to support us and we feed off of them. So. Hopefully we keep this thing rolling and, and uh, keep the fan, get, uh, fan base uh, passionate and, and uh, entertain them even better. Oh, I loved what he said about how gratitude has shaped his life. His words, I'm the product of the hard work and sacrifice of others. I'm here because of them. I've sensed that gratitude from him over the last year even. I remember that being a theme coming through at his very first press conference when he was announced. So Coach Satake, thank you so much. He take, takes the chain one step further now, sending his thank you card, his note of gratitude to the fans, to The Rock, basically the student section there at BYU. So we'll continue to track that and see where it goes from there. While we're at it, we have another link in the chain to add. You'll remember Jeff Bills. He was the dad of Heather Johnson, our parenting contributor. She wrote to him. Now Jeff is sending it forward to his longtime friend and colleague Tracy Ward. Well, Tracy then wrote to Corey and Roxanne Sorensen, two people that he has known for nearly four decades and interacted with in many different capacities. Here's a few of his words to share. Quote, they have always been the first to arrive to serve and the last to leave when the work needed to be completed. They have always sought out opportunities and been requested to serve and have done so without complaint, all while expressing gratitude for the blessings of serving others. We'll add an additional note here. Corey was diagnosed with atypical Parkinson's disease a few years ago. It's it's a disease that has sidelined Corey from a very active lifestyle and presents new challenges, new difficulties. But Tracy emphasized that Corey and Roxanne are examples of all that is good and that watching them serve each other at the expense of their own needs has been nothing short of inspiring. So we'll add our thanks to that. A big thank you to Tracy for sharing the goodness of the Sorensons with us. And now we are eager to see where their chain takes us. We're going to wrap this all up this week if you've been tracking. And again, keep our goal in mind to write the longest, loudest thank you note during this month. I think we're pretty close to doing it. The thank you chain will conclude throughout the week, but still many stories to share in the days between.